Hey YouTube, coming at you with the Holiday Cup team featuring Sableye. Um, so I, I start with Sableye because I'm like, you know what? There are some fairies in this, and obviously there's a decent amount of normal typings. But the main normal typing is like Vigoroth, which you can actually do okay against because they're like counters are resisted too. Uh, and then it's like, there's I saw like an increase in like ghost Pokemon a bunch. And then in just general neutral matchup, Sableye is just so good, right? And then I put in Lantern because I still think Lantern is like one of the best in this meta because it is pretty much unchecked. Uh, not a ton of grass running around. But if there is going to be grass, I covered it first with like Ace Hand Slash. The only problem with the running Ace Hand Slash is that I was like double uh sh like shadow claw backline and that cost me against a vigoroth and then i'm like f that noise um so i switched it to credilly because i think credilly actually provides you it, it it doesn't actually purely answer the grass and the grass so grass would be a little bit of an issue if you saw that um i mean you just save up sable if you saw it on the lead and then hopefully can combo it but uh i'm not too worried about the grass like it, like Cordelia gives you an, a, like another answer to Lantern. It gives you an answer to Flyers. It gives you an answer to like Vigoroth. You take Super Factor from Counter, but like Body Slam is resisted. So it's an actually a decent Pokemon, and I think I used it. Again. I liked it so much I used it on my team, my next team as well. Um, but so great lead, great switch here. You can live one move. I still may shield anyways. Yeah, I shield anyways. Look at those claws just chipping away. I'm at basically two foul plays so i expect them just let this go it is a they get out quick so they don't have any energy if they come back in here to uh because i got five claws through and that was just a i just didn't through before this is just a drain, drain claw i know that because they threw right on five i feel like because i got so many claws through that they're pretty low i think i probably just go shout yeah foul play because it's a shadow and out comes your vigoroth so i will chip again here probably go immediately into lantern um and then at this point once they did not shield that foul play i'm like okay i think my win condition is actually just sparking down because <laughs> they need to get to like multiple body slams and i think the only with when you're running in a situation like this where they're both two turn fast moves so for every time i throw a serve they would just get a full body slam through like a full counter through, which makes it more likely they'll get to the body slam. So at that point, it's like, do I like potentially just give up two counters worth of energy so they get to another body slam or just like go for the aggressive farm down? And that's why I went for the aggressive farm down there. Um, mirror match. So just staying in with this mirror match here. Looks like I lose CMP. So Thunderbolt comes through, Thunderbolt will go through on them. They, I remember they shield the first one and then I get to the second one and they don't throw. I think they went for like an aggressive farm down or like uh, farm down enough to get to a surf. So I throw the Thunderbolt here. Uh, they ha had an extra spark go through. So they were just fast. They're going for the fast move. Um, and they double shield. I'm like, okay, this is really interesting. Uh, they're gonna have to throw a surf. They are loaded with energy. They have like hundred energy right now, but I got both shields which is nice for a sand slash because I can get this drill run off just to take it out, but not if you don't throw some fast moves. Um, I'm going to shield one. I know they're at two moves again, so I'm just going to shield one. I probably won't shield both because uh, I don't know what's in the back yet. Okay, I guess I'm going to shield both, farm up a bunch. Um, and they switch to Cradilly, so I'm like, oh, this team is real weak against a slash here. Uh, so one here. I try to fast move time and I give up just, I don't, I shouldn't have done that. I tried to fast move optimize, but I also at the same time not counting, which is stupid. So I'll get up to like a hundred energy so that if the lantern comes back in, I can drill run it. Uh, and then we'll see what's in the back. Uh, but they actually come in Gligar, I remember here, which is kind of a weird play because I am loaded with energy. Maybe they were trying to catch, but their switch clock probably like locked them. So get that off, come in here. Uh, just getting in here just because I can live any move and I'm going to get to a foul play to be able to foul play the lantern if it comes back in. So that's the thought process behind that. And that's why I'm ahead on energy. And I can now just foul play the lantern. I should have never taken that rock slide though. Like everyone knows they don't count, but those are the situations where it's like, oh, I could have lost that game if um, I could have lost that game there if they played it a little differently. 
Vigoroth on the lead. Um, two body slams won't take you out. Two surfs will take them out. So it's advantage you. Uh, but then they could take it in like the other shield scenarios, I think, because the counters just like add up a ton here. So they try and catch on a lantern. Um, I think this was a mistake because I feel like Drill Run with the claws probably would have taken out anyways. So there's no real reason to dump that energy there. And now I have to like throw or I'm going to, yeah, I got to throw before here to take this out. So it just feels like a wasted Thunderbolt there, which may come back to actually haunt me. So get off a nice punch, which is nice. This will grab a shield. I expect them to shield and farm and come out with some a bunch of energy. Uh, so then I thought my win condition was maybe like come in here, force them to throw, get them low enough that I can like, um, man, my stomach is growling, that I can like claw down. I'll, like, I'll show up a rock side. I don't, want to, don't know what's in the back yet. And what is in the back is a fairy. So, yep, that's a top left. There's nothing I can do about that. Just unlucky. Like, what can you really do about that? Charizard lead. Um, Charger bug. And I'm like, I don't have a really good answer for Charger bug. So, this is me just, like, thinking, like, what do I do here? <laughs> so, then I come in. A slash. A slash was not good. As you see with Gridilly, I just... I don't think A slash has a ton of play in this meta right now just because the claws are resisted um by all the normals and then you're super double weak to counter um and there's not a ton of like flyers that you actually can like deal with and then the other one of the flyers is is uh talent flame so it's just like eh. a slash is definitely taking a huge hit this season they give up switch to go up shields, to go down shields, which is fine. And what I'm doing here is basically uh, coming in here and just farming down so that if the um, Charizard comes back in, which I expect it will, I can just go return to take it out and still have a bit of energy for whatever's in the back. Because um, I worried it's like a grass or something in the back. So hit this with a return. Going for the claw down, they immediately switch into Venusaur, right? So I read that right. It is a grass in the back, and I couldn't just come in Lantern. Get this off low enough that I can come and snipe with Surf uh, to take this out. So that's just that is just a read. That's a team read there um, that you get better at things, right? So you have a Charizard on the lead. Gets killed by Lantern. You have Charger Bug, which is a nice answer for it that fought super super hard for switch which means it's probably like a balanced team something to be lantern which is a grass um, so i needed to come out with energy on sable eye because lantern was not going to have a good time with grass and that is what happened there so again vigoroth on lead not bad um we're both just kind of <laughs> seeing who's going to throw the move first they decide to throw first um you can, I, again, you, you'll take this in the zeros, I believe. Um, and so this would take it out. So I would expect a shield because they have a bunch of energy. And this is where if they're smart, they just like shield and farm a bunch and then get off a bunch of body slams here. Yeah, I think that's smart. Uh, I probably just let this go and try and claw down here with Sableye. I'll shield up a rock slide. Because again, rock side chips, huge upgrade. Uh, they get out into Altaria. So I'm like, okay, this is good. Um, I'm going to come out with like two moves here. So I'll, I'll take a move. Everything's resisted. I'll come out with a... I'll come out with two ice punches. One like one to take this out and then one to take out the Vigoroth. And what ends up happening is they shield the Vigoroth, farm down... Um, and I can't claw down, so they just get a bunch of energy. So I'm like, okay, crap, are they at another, like, I don't know what's in the back yet. I don't, I think I may have to shield up a rock side here. So I shield up the rock side, 
and then they come at me with a lantern and a lantern I take out the lantern but with like 2 HP left and then they counter me down before I can claw them down and that's when I'm immediately like okay I cannot run a double claw team with Vigoroth everywhere so take this out return and they end up countering me down before I can claw them down because claws are double resisted I'm just like oh that freaking sucks um, so I put in Cradilly. Cradilly is still weak to counter, but at least Bullet Seed is neutral, plus um, the Grass Knots and Rock Slides are a nice combo for what you see a lot in this meta. So that is why I am using it. Um, a Sand Slash on the lead. Powder Snow makes this better. Claws, claws a bad matchup, because these Drill Runs plus Claws are going to take you out. Resisted Powder Snow's plus Drill Runs do not take you out. So as you're going to see here, we go down to the, we go to the two shield. They will get a Drill Run off, but the Drill Run does not take me out because these Powder Snows are resisted. Um, so you're not getting that claw neutral chip. So that makes me win the two shields. So now I keep switch, which is a little bit important, but not super important. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay, this thing has Moonblast, plus I'm not going to be able to take it out. I think Cradilly is the way to go. Even though Bullet Seed is resisted, Rock Slide is super effective. So i got to imagine that how fast I get to these Rock Slides, I will be able to take this out before they take me out. Um, and they catch on a Vigoroth, so nice catch. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically get that Rock Slide back so that I will win CMP and then bank that move and come in here. Um, Cause now I guess they have bulldoze. So I'm like, okay, someone has not TM'd away that yet. Or maybe it's like a trap, like trap uh, Palo Sands with uh, that, get that off. At this point it's in, it's in rock side range and they have to throw or else I'm gonna get a foul play and take them out. So they throw. Sky attack, and I've got that move banked for the rock slide win here. So that's just no different. That's just like knowing different shield scenarios and stuff like that. Dragonite lead is pretty good with a spark lantern, and they get up into Dunsparce. Um, I should probably go faster than this. Like, obviously, Sable has a bad matchup. Lantern has an okayish matchup, but you're taking super effective drill runs. Um, I just didn't know how much like how good of a matchup Cradilly actually had against Sunsparce so I was like I'm gonna hesitate a bit here um but in the end you're gonna see these drill runs do like not nothing but like pretty nothing here um so I'm like okay you're doing nothing to me I'm gonna get up to like almost two rock slides here grass knot's a little more uh of a move cost uh but at this point I'm still almost at two rock slides. So I will be able to grab two shields here or do a ton of damage. The only problem is now they're going to farm down and come out with a hundred energy. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to allow you to do that. Uh, I'm going to force you here. And then I'm like, I still may just go two shield Sableye or force one. Cause I know they have hundred energy. Um, so I'm going to like force them to throw here. So I took one shield. They took one shield, but I'm like, I'm taking all your energy before I get in on Sableye. Entrance, try and sweep a Sableye. And out comes a Charger Bug. Um, and this is where I'm just like, okay, I need to worry about the Dragon Breath damage. I cannot get this low enough that it just Dragon Breaths me down. Um, I can't launch two Foul Plays because I need to have some energy coming out. So I think I just need to Claw, Return, come out with as much energy as I can so that I can get to the foul play to take out this Dragonite. So that is what you're seeing here. Return to take that out, enough energy, enough health to combo the Dragonite. Lantern against Chestnut. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. I'm like, oh crap, Chestnut's gonna be tough. So I get out into Sableye, because like neutral claws. I go straight return here which I don't know if that's the best play. I think two foul plays is probably what you need. 
because I still need a foul play or I need to commit shields to take this down. What I did notice that was they had a SmackDown Chestnut. So a SmackDown Chestnut is still a bad matchup for Lantern. It's not a terrible, terrible, terrible matchup for Lantern. So being ahead on energy with a SmackDown Chestnut, I, I'm going to stay in here and chip as much as I can and then try and go uh, Cradilly in the back to sweep what's ever left. So I'm going to shield because I'm almost out of move and I want to take this lower. Um, this going straight down there both because I think that this would actually take it low enough to put in spark range. Um, and they are shielding back. I Again, Cradilly does not have a good matchup here. So I'm kind of just like, uh, I kind of need to stay in here and just chip this as much as I can. So with this Dragonite, it's just like, go for the nuke. This would take it like pretty much out. So they shield. And now... I should be able to outpace here to the rock slide. I don't think that's a superpower. I think that's only a dragon claw. And dragon claw is not nearly enough, whereas opposed to a super effective rock slide to a shadow dragonite will be more than enough. Um, and because they're now slower on energy generation, I can get to the grass knot to take out. So what could have been a really bad matchup with if that was like a vine whip um, chestnut turns out to be a win. Uh, and a sand slash this one has this one gets out right away and i'm like okay if you're getting out right away you are probably a a powder snow one as well so i'm like what is the play here and then i'm like okay let's just throw the thunderbolt and see what happens and i'm like you know what if i throw a thunderbolt and they let that go i can probably just stay in here so they have a dragon pulse which is interesting i'm like i know i can keep switch uh i can't spark all the way down so i'm just gonna dump this surf keep alignment get my sable eye on it so my grass doesn't need to see it um i'm assuming they have probably some sort of double dragon team in the back so i'm going to chip here as you're seeing it is powder snow um and they are probably going to go to shield dragon whatever's in the back so i'm like okay what is my best play here um I can't imagine coming Sableye, you have to, and there's your second dragon. So I tried to grab a shield. The problem is like when you have, so my one condition has to be letting this go, foul play, hopefully getting to two rock slides. Um, and I remember them making a nice catch on the, on their um, A slash. So I'm worried about a superpower, so I shield. Um, these one turn fast moves I'm already at a move I think I just try and go back to back and they catch please don't throw a move and then oh that's such an obvious that's such an obvious catch I, I said hundreds of times on this channel the easiest catch to make is just the one fast move one fast turn and then catch because that's always what happens and I just did it to lose this matchup Ah, that's annoying. That is annoying. Maybe I should go back and watch my videos. <laughs> they would help me in that matchup there. Anyways, that is it. That is a team. Um, I think Sam is good. I did see a few fairies with it, which is kind of annoying. But you you live with that. Um, it's just there's a lot, a lot of normals too. So you kind of got to do deal stuff to deal with the normals. I think Lantern is just basically unchecked in this meta. It's just so strong. And then I liked Cordilly. I don't know if I'd run Lantern Cradilly again, but I really liked Cradilly. I think Cradilly's on my next team as well, at least for half of it. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the team. Um, maybe like one or two more videos this week on the Holiday Cup, and then we'll do League Turnover, Top Teams, Great League, Ultra League on Friday, and then we will probably focus on Great League for most of the week. Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.